We know how much horsepower the upcoming Mercedes AMG GTR will get. Rumors of the fastest Aston Martin ever. And the Nissan Leaf is about to fall from the bigger battery tree. They exist, Goldberg. Oh. That's an actual tree. Florida? Yeah, they're in Florida, native. Plus, we'll see what the FOD fans are posting for Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, Erica? Oh, yeah. What's up? Welcome, Erica, back. Hey. She was on vacation, and Remy, great job on the edit, my friend. Oh, Remy. Oh. Remy, step it up to the plate. What's going on, everybody? I am Derek D, and this is Fastlane Daily. Whoop, whoop. With 600 horsepower on tap, the new Aston Martin DB11 has already passed its bro, the Vanquish's 565 horsepower, being the most powerful Aston currently in production. But that may not be for long, nope. The Brits are already planning a replacement for the Vanquish based on the new DB11. But drop it in an even more powerful 5.2 liter twin turbo V12. See, the V12s are not dead yet. Thank God. They're not dead yet. Word on the street is... Word is money, brother. Yeah, no doubt. Well, duh. No doubt. But also that the new Vanquish will pump out an outstanding 800 of these. <laughs> Whoa. That means it would pass even the mighty 177 and tie the Vulcan as the most powerful Aston Martin of all time. Can you even believe it, Erica? Nope. Nope. Uh, it would also be enough to give a roundhouse kick to the face to the Ferrari F12 TDF, Lamborghini Aventador, SV, and Pagani Huayra BC. Okay, Aston Martin coming in hot, Goldberg. Dropping some hammers. Yeah, coming in hot. Hey, remember we talked about that Mercedes AMG GTR last week? Yeah, well, with a few days before the world premiere at Goodwood, we have some technical specs that I'm going to send your way. The 4-liter twin-turbo V8 of the GTS has been upgraded from 503 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of that. Tour. Thank you, Erica. To 577 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of that. Tour. Yeah. So do the math. That's 74 more horses to let zero punch 62 mile per hour in the face in just 3.6 seconds. Like, <laughs> that's 0.2 seconds faster and has increased the top speed by five miles per hour to 198 miles per hour. 198, it should just be 200. A round up. So picky. 200. Full details on the new range topper sports car will be announced in the next few days. In other news, AMG GTR could also stand for, oh my god, Game of Thrones was ridiculous this week. Come on. Hard pass. <laughs> Hard pass on that one? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> we haven't talked about the Nissan Leaf in a while, and we won't start now. Moving right on. Um, I'm kidding. I'm a jokester. Relax, Nissan. We love you. They said they would offer the Leaf with a 60 kilowatt hour battery since like last November, which was around the time that they, they debuted the IDS concept, which actually looks pretty cool to me. Uh, and that actually, the concept had that size battery pack in it. Well, Nissan's EV global director said that battery pack will be in the next generation Nissan LEAF. It will be there. More than doubling the capacity of the 24 kilowatt hour battery in the current LEAF. So the 60, 60 kilowatt hour pack in the new LEAF could go something like 210, 220 miles on a charge, making it a serious, I'm talking serious, competitor against the Chevy Bolt and Tesla Model 3. And hopefully they also make it look like this IDS concept because I'm going to be honest, the leaf, don't like it, the look of it, it's just bleh. Bleh. All right, let's see what the FOD Army is up to for what, AK? Wednesday, Wednesday, Derek D. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. First up is FOD fan Alan Marrero here who saw this Audi A6. Looks normal, but let's enhance. Yeah, it's an A6R. S. Clever, my friend. I see. Maybe the owner's name is Rich Sanders or Ronnie Smith or Ricardo Solamantaban. I don't know. But that's funny. That's clever. Next is Zebedee fan Kobe Harvey here, who took a selfie with the only Bugatti 
Sharon here in the US. Nice. Bugatti selfie. Power play. I selfie with the new Bugatti. I selfie with the new Bugatti. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. FLD fan Daniel Daz here. He spotted this Z28 Camaro. Now, if you weren't sure it was a Z28, well, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight badges may tell you. Yeah, there's also some Transformer stickers in case you didn't know. Hey, you know like Tony the Tiger says, they're great, you know, Frosted Flakes? Well, we found what Tony the Tiger drives. It's this Audi R8. Check the license plate. Great. Uh, that's Dimitri Politis for spotting uh, Tony's ride. Yeah. Uh, Marcus Steele spotted this old Bedford pickup truck with a lot of character. It's old. Now, quick history, Bedford was a part of Vauxhall Motors, which was owned by GM back in the day in the 30s. Whoa, history dropping knowledge. But anyway, you can definitely throw some old hammers back there. Throw an old hammer back there. Max Trelenque. <laughs> Not I said his me. Name. Not this Max. That's Goldberg, okay? Uh, he watches his FLD in the morning with some coffee and waffles. Mm. Nice. It looks like a commercial shot. Just waffles with FLD. Hey, how do you watch your FLD? Send us a pic. FLD fan Michael Tarantino saw some spinner rims on a tractor trailer truck. Oh, yes. Listen to his reaction. <laughs> All right, stop. Yes, quite the laugh. And then someone else is like, okay, stop. <laughs> Pretty funny. The spinners on a big tractor trailer? Good investment. Swags, huh? <laughs> Got that swag track. <laughs> Lastly, we have little Corbin here sitting in one of the 911s right here on the Fast Lane Daily set. Him and his dad, Jason, stopped by last Tuesday. Unfortunately, I and the rest of the crew wasn't here, but Goldberg was. And he was nice enough to let Corbin in, check out the studio, and sit in the car. So, Goldberg, thank you for that. Yeah, man. that kid was a dude. He rocked. Total dude. So, Corbin, hey, man, thank you for being a fan, buddy. And Jason, thank you for watching as well. Yeah. Jason is his dad. He was. You guys rock. And all, all of your sort of friends. You're all our friends, OK? That's what I'm trying to get at. All right. Moving right along. Our FLD question of the day is, do you think more powerful trims of specific models are that necessary? I mean, think about it. The Mercedes AMG GTS is already a ground rocket ship at 503 horsepower. You only top, your top speed only goes up five miles per hour. Which you're never going to hit either way. And you're probably, yeah, you're probably not going to hit that. And yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, yeah, the AMG GTR is more powerful. But is it more of a we can charge more money for some more power, or is it totally needed? Hey, I'm just asking the question here. Hashtag FLD, Q of the D. Send your own in two. Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. That's what's up, AK. There it is. I'm just saying, I mean, you got Audi, you got the uh, S4, and then you got the RS4. I mean, I'm just, hey, throwing it out there. If you want to catch it, let me know. Send it right back. We'll figure it out. We'll work together on this. But that's it for Fast Lane Daily today, Wednesday, hump day. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit up the drive.com, and, you know, and everybody knows that hump day goes a little something like this. <laughs> what if I laugh like this? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that is so Gross. stupid. Well, <laughs>